Hey, this is Michelle Getzinger. I'm here at a house that just sold. We had a small radon issue and we need a radon mitigation system. So I'm here with my um, good partner in crime at USA Radon and his name's Dave and he's going to walk you through the whole mitigation process. So I'm Dave Lovick. I'm from US Radon Professionals and we're mitigating a house here today in Natrona Heights. Basically any radon mitigation that you do, you're doing it for the same reason. Radon's getting pulled into the home from underneath the slab. The reason that happens is because of airflow dynamics in the house. So any warm air in the house is rushing up and out. That creates a strong draw from under the slab to replace that air. That's how radon gets pulled in. So we satisfy or fix the radon problem by depressurizing underneath that slab. When you depressurize underneath the slab, the home no longer looks to replace that air that's rushing up and out by grabbing from it under the slab and the radon stays at bay essentially. So actually right now down in the basement, uh, my employees down there um, working through sort of a complicated issue that we ran into which changed our plans for the day. So if you want to go take a look, uh, I can show you what that is. Our initial plan here was to get to the center of the room for depressurizing. When you go to the center of the room to depressurize and you start sucking air out from under the slab, every side of the house is further away from that, from that point where your depressurization is starting. That works well when you might leak on the perimeter to some degree. And we have a waterproofing system around the whole perimeter of this basement, which might cause some leaks if it's not sealed perfectly. Well, when we got into this hole down here, we found out that it's solid rock underneath. You can't move air through solid rock. We actually had to do our penetration point instead over here, right on top of where the waterproofing system is. Under there is a French drain. And when you start sucking air from this area, it's going to suck it from that French drain and go around the whole perimeter, wherever there's a French drain at. So we get really good pull when we're there, but if you don't seal that perfectly, this area here that they leave open, and in this instance, they actually put a barrier up the whole wall, we have to seal every bit of that or else we're not going to be able to suck well enough um, from that penetration point. So over here is where we're actually coming out of the house from the inside and this is the last piece of radon mitigation when we do it. This pipe right now is this, this uh, uh, spray foam that we put in there is hardening at the moment. This will eventually be going this way. A fan will sit on top here, and then we'll have a discharge line running up and above the roof line right there. And so what this does, once we hook it up to the electric is, it runs that fan, and that fan sucks from this pipe, which is sucking from the underside of the slab. Once you suck enough air out from under that slab, that's what changes the airflow dynamics in the house to keep radon from getting pulled in anymore. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.